And welcome back to Rimworld and to the town of Oolong Rise, where Muller is still resisting. Still doesn't want to join us yet. And that is just frankly annoying. But we're going to keep at it. We've got a 5% chance, and eventually that 5% chance will tick in our favor, and you will join us. Now, we've uh, finished a couple more of these, which is fantastic to see. Let's just make sure. There we go. We only need a couple more now to get all of that power set up. Okay, very nicely done down here as well. Let's get down some metal tile flooring. That one's already been done. Okay, so what we're going to do here, we're going to go for auto wood doors. The fastest opening doors that we have. If it's going to be internal to our fort, then it really doesn't matter to us too much if it uh, is a weaker door. What matters to us is that it, ha it uh, does its job quickly. Now we're going to want to expand out the home zone here, but also clear the no roof. We don't want this structure being outside. And that is also true in there. There we go. Now all of the solar panels are hooked up and feeding power to the base. And very soon we will have that as well. Ah, damn, have we... Ah, no. Run out of components again. This is not good. We may actually need to very quickly research up to being able to make our own. You know what? Let's go ahead and do that. So, this will allow us uh, to unlock high-end research tables, comms console, and other research projects like tube television and caskets, machining, craft machinery, or disassembly. Yeah, well, that's the one we want then. We need to get the machining table. Now, this has been built. We just need a little bit more component to be able to uh, finish that off. Ooh, we finally got a raid! A group of tribespeople from the Purple Ridge people have arrived nearby. Now prepare for a while, then attack. Prepare to defend... Uh, prepare a defense or attack them preemptively. Ooh, there is a lot of people there. They've got a reasonable amount of ranged weapons. That's actually worked to our favor. But, uh, well, mm. we want to encourage them to come through this wall. So we're actually going to set these up. We'll break those down later. Now, I need people working on this right now. Who's our constructors? That's Evelyn, Jack, and Redneck Gamer. Jack? Get down here, Evelyn. Get down here, Redneck Gamer. Get down there. Go, 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 go. We need these built right now. Also, you're cooking. Jack is the only one that will always work on building. You're also cooking. That's unfortunate. That's actually very unfortunate for us. Uh, you're not a particularly good cook, though. You're only a skill five. Uh... We can run with Isildur and Evelyn. In fact, that's actually kind of sweet. So, we'll let you guys work on that for now. Please get all of this done. Really want you to work on that. You go ahead. Thank you, Evelyn. You go up there and work on that. No, no, no. We need all of these done. Sorry, but you're going to be fixing all of them. I know, I know. It sucks. You don't get to sleep like everyone else in the colony, but on the plus side, you'll be heroes. The heroes of this colony. Right, you can work on that. Right, Redneck Gamer, I now want you to work on this. Evelyn, I want you uh, working on... Okay. Are any of these of it? No, okay, they're not. Very well. Jack, I will have you and Evelyn hang tight because I'd very much like to have you available to help when Redneck Gamer gets back. Evelyn down there, Jack over there. Redneck Gamer coming back, yes. I was starting to wonder. There we go, now let's get you down here. No. Uh, okay, you can go over there. Nope, oh, Evelyn, you're coming down here, please. There we are. Right, they're beginning their assault. They just need these finished. Everyone else, you're on duty. Get down here right now. This is going to be the first real test 
of this sector for us. Jack, sorry, but no. Go. No. Get over there. We really need you to do this as fast as you can. They're almost here. We are going to be uh, doing our best to get this ready in time. Okay, get inside and start working on these. Now, this is the effect of those sandbags. It really slows everything down. And that is exactly what we need to happen. Nope, Jack, you're over there. Evelyn, there. And once you're done here, you get to go and stand with the rest of the colonists and prepare for the attack. Ah, uh, isn't it fun? Now, we could split up and go deal with some of these. Now, I'm glad that they are splitting up a little bit, but hopefully they won't be able to get through those doors. We'll see. And Evelyn, continue work. Thankfully, this work is very easy to do, so they're getting it done super fast. Evelyn, over there. And as soon as you're ready, I need you over here. Right, there we go. I'll get you there, get you there. Everyone get down. I actually want my the anyone with a shock a sorry, a charge rifle to be at the front. Now one of you doesn't have something. No, Evelyn does. Okay, get inside. Ben, you're going inside, because Jack is a better choice to have outside. Now as for you, you need to be here. Then you can all go down here and be ready to jump out at them as they try to flee. So, I want you to move back. Uh, actually, I'll have Alvin here and I'll have Rambo here. But Evelyn, Zorakis, and Ben are moving back. There we go. They're going to do a little bit of damage, but it's fine. Now, you just stand tight. Right, let's see how this plays. Now, unfortunately, they're just going to have the advantage of having cover here. They're not going to have any disadvantage because we don't have the grenade set up yet. But that shouldn't be too bad. How many people are there? Two people. We could try. Uh, no, not yet. There we go. Those charge rifles are beautifully destructive. Okay, one down. Done a lot of damage already with our defenses. We have got a better, a far greater advantage where we currently are from the defenses that we've got. Because we've got hard defenses. The sandbags, from what I understand, are considered low defenses, so they only provide a bit of cover, whereas the walls that we're stood behind, we're just kind of peeking out. We're just, just nudging to the side, taking aim, taking a shot, then ducking back behind the wall, so we've got very high cover, as far as I understand. Now, we've actually got more people joining over here. That is not so good. Go ahead, get in there. We'll be ready for them if they get through. Doing a good job down here. Um, actually, I would like you to, to go up along there. Now, I want you both there ready. Go here, please. Uh, no, go there, please. Thank you. That, they're coming through. Right, so that means I want you two to be out attacking them right now. Ben, out you go. Take aim. Are they... Those scallywags, they're hurting our dog! How terrible. Alright, actually, I think maybe we should pull back. We don't want to get caught out. There's too many people still out there. Um, ben? Right, okay, we did a good job there, actually. We could move down, but we'd get caught out. So pull back for the time being. Get right back, all three of you. Evelyn, Ben, Zorakis. Now, Zorakis and Evelyn, they do have shields, which is great. Pull back. If they do take a shot at you, you should be okay. Get inside, my dog. There we are. Now, we've done a very good job down here. This is exactly the way that I was hoping these defenses would work. We've funneled them in. They're not running away from this because they have an available defense. Even if the defense is not particularly good. We've already lost... Uh, we have actually lost none of the sandbags, which is great. We can just repair these sandbags. They're, they've not taken... That one's taken a bit of a pounding. 
but generally speaking more and more people are filtering in that is absolutely wonderful this is exactly what we needed and that door has closed again so we can get you two to move down please if we can we're going to jump out and take them on that's right they've decided they get, got halfway there we're taking too much damage decided no we actually want to go and take the cover that's available down there so they turned around now the unfortunate thing is dudley's in shock and belladonna yeah you're not you're not well uh that is unfortunate that is very unfortunate um we've got two people making a move down here they are gonna break fairly soon ben do you want to poke your head out i don't really want you to think about it uh evelyn make a move charge him down go for it same with zarakis go for it both of you go for them ben you can stay back uh yeah Let's get everyone down here. In fact, actually, Ben, you can go for this cover. It's high cover. If you can get to it, it's fine. More and more of them are going down, but you're not going to have the advantage that the rest of them do. Uh, actually, if you run for that cover, we can bring you down. Oh, oh no, Megan has finally taken a shot. One of our people took a shot. Uh, wow, blood loss is incredible. You got cut by a short bow in the torso. That is not nice. I'm actually thinking, given that, maybe time to pull you back. Why Why risk it, eh? Why risk it? Pull back, Megan. You don't need to be out here. I want you resting. Go rest. We'll have the rest of our group attack in a moment. Uh, we can have you all more or less down here. Ben, you can take position there. Now, we, they are distracted by the things that they're trying to break right now, which is great. Another one is down. Right, we've got some that we can attack. I want you to run them down right now. They've got a ranged weapon. Ben is going to take one shot. Then Ben is going to pull back. I don't need Ben in this anymore. Get out there and attack them, please. Ben, move forward. Use the, the cover of this wall to attack. Right, okay, we've got everyone pile on them please absolutely everyone there we go and you as well ben you're gonna pull back a little bit more i don't want you taking any shots there they are fleeing fantastic work everyone but how many more of them can we take down before they get away well our shooters are not going to be able to get out there but i do believe who is the owner of Belladonna? Ben. Ben, I want you to release Belladonna. Have her charge the, uh, run them down. Go. Everyone go. Uh, Evelyn, go for Lair. Zorakis, uh, I think it's going to be a little bit too far for you to be able to cover that ground. So Alvin, you get involved as well. Rambo, go for it. How badly hurt you? Oh, you just got two boosts. It's fine. Okay, you can actually, you're allowed to shoot, because the worst thing that's going to happen in that instance is you're going to hit Evelyn or Alvin's shield. I don't think you're going to be able to chase them down. So what we're going to do here is be really, really happy with how well that went. Wow, you were almost through that slate door. Well played. Tranka had just been up there the whole time, just wailing on that door with a steel club. Very, very well played. I didn't even notice, but okay. Um, first things first, are you still alive? Yes, you are. Okay. Right. We're going to get you... Rescue Dudley, please. How is Belladonna doing? Stabbed twice by a spear. You know what? No. No. Ben, you're bailing from this. You're going to grab... Uh, let's actually go ahead and allow everything. We want to be able to pick up anything, and because this mod is amazing, seriously, best mod ever, we can do that across the entire map. You can't even do that with normal stuff. Right. Um, Belladonna, you should be fine. Now, Ben is no longer uh, in combat. Belladonna should just decide to return. Rambo, you're not going to chase them down, so you're also going to help out by pulling in some of the food. Prioritize hauling. 
Um, shield miner, prioritize repairing. Uh, Isildur. Sure, we're going to need you to start stripping people. I want them stripped. We'll burn the clothes that are no good and we'll sell the ones that are good to someone later on. We'll build the crematorium soon, so clothes that we don't want can easily be disposed of. That was absolutely wonderful. I'm not sure what we're going to be doing with you. Genuinely don't know. Let's get everything sorted out. Belladonna, really want you to go to sleep. No? That is not so great. Where are you going, Belladonna? Zarakis, you're free to go. Right, get both of you back. Okay, you did amazingly well. You all did amazingly, amazingly well. Evelyn is having a bit to eat, so is Zarakis. You know, they, they've just been fighting for quite some time, so they're a little bit peckish, and I'm not going to tell them they can't stop to eat, honestly. They've done way too well for me to uh, decide that they're not allowed to do something. Do whatever you want. Uh, well, within reason. Uh, you know, for example, torturing Barga, that would be a, a little bit bad, but uh, only a little bit. Uh, they did attack us at the end of the day. It's your fault. Still, I, I would prefer you didn't touch them. If you, if you need to work out your frustration at being hurt, Evelyn, which I'm sure you do, just go over there and kill them cleanly. There's no need to be uncivilized about this. But that was fantastic. There's way too much stuff. We're not going to be able to store it all, which is a bit of a shame. Okay. But let's get everything healed, please. Isildur? That's right. Oh, what? What? No. I think not, Isildur. They get... Well, okay. Our animals will get at least um, herbal meds. Or rather, they'll get herbal meds. I'm not going to give them the really expensive high-end medicines that we have at the moment because we don't have many. I am going to prioritize our colonists for those. Uh, thank you very much. They can be gotten and stripped now as well. There we are. Just get everything fixed, please, people. Now then, that was actually quite good. Now, one thing that I've been told is that thing, like wood can break down. It's got a durability. Blocks, though, can't. Nor can steel. Nor can silver. These things can be put in outside without any negative effect. So I'm actually going to do that. I'm going to tell this storage not to store... Um, let's see, silver, gold, I'm going to say, I imagine, plasteel, steel, I'm going to say jade and uranium, well, I don't know, we'll keep those in until I know, and that's the same for plasteel and gold, but I'm fairly certain that it's going to be the same sort of thing there, um, manufactured as well, any, oh, they're not there, stone blocks, all ah, right, okay, no stone blocks, blocks can, however, be stored out there, so can silver and steel. So that can all be restored outside without any issue. That'll free up a lot more room inside for us to keep things going. But that went exactly the way I was hoping it would work. I'm really, really so pleased with that. So, so pleased. But let's check how things are going. How are you doing? Uh, you, you're all right. You've lost your tail. Moving is poor pain you're in a little manipulation is weakened because you lost your front left leg oh Dudley is fully healed what's wrong you angry oh wow have you learned have you been trained oh you have been fully trained excellent excellent work how about you you can't be trained any further but that's fine uh, it seems that that Belladonna's in a bad mood uh, ben, there we go. Ben Adonis should come to you now. Ben Adonis, calm down. There we go. Hopefully that's okay. If not, it's just a bug and we can easily fix it later. But uh, everything else, yeah, pretty happy with that. Really, really happy with it, actually. Uh, let's see. Now, what I could do, so as we saw, they are getting through these doors. I could put a, a um, partition between this door and the inner door, which would mean that they'd have to go through three instead of two. Eh, it would really only be delaying the inevitable at that point, but eh, it might might be worth trying. 
We need more graves. Oh my lord, do we need more graves. Let's get on that right away. So, let's go ahead and start... Um, yeah, we'll place them over here. I like to put graves in pairs. I don't know why. It's just a visual thing. It's It's got nothing to do with any sort of belief or any, uh, any game mechanic reason. I just like it. But there we are. We'll get the, those graves set up like that. I might even put some graves outside there as well. But hopefully we can get everything in as quickly as possible. There we go. All of that set up. Wonderful. Absolutely wonderful. Very pleased with that. Cleaning up the blood. Well done you. Cleaning up everything else as well. But there we are. We didn't even go through any of our sandbags. We will go through the sandbags if we're using grenades. That's just the way that's going to work. But uh, for now, that went about as well as it could. Rambo's just chilling out. Just enjoying time. Spending time with uh, Belladonna. Training Belladonna. Really? Bellad oh, yes, of course. I've just said that Belladonna can be trained to rescue as well. Well done, Rambo. Okay. I am really happy with that. So very, very happy. Rambo failed to recruit a Muller. 5.4% chance. These colonists need medical treatment without... What's wrong, Geode Miner? Have you developed an effect? Oh, no! Have you both got it? Oh, that is so bad. That is so, so terribly bad. Gutworms. They are going to be vomiting all over the place. Right, it'll go eventually. They are going to eat twice as much for now. But it will eventually go. It's just a horrible thing to have to go through, really. Okay, well, let's let's make a nice steel bed down here as well. We'll have uh, two hospital beds right next to each other. It's not ideal, I know, but uh, it'll, it'll just have to be what it is. Um, we will also go ahead and build... Sure. Steel end table. Right about there. Oh, yeah. That'll have to do for now. That is so unfortunate. So very unfortunate. How is everything going in here? People moving stuff out yet? Not really. Uh, we're not actually getting the hauling going on that I would like to see. Geode Miner is being uh, taken care of by Jack. Thank you very much. And everyone else is generally okay. But hopefully someone will now go take care of Evelyn as well. I wonder, could I have a hopper for medicine? I can. I can actually have a hopper for medicine. Well, in that case, these hoppers are fantastic. Truly wondrous inventions. I want a hopper right about here that will store only medicine. Let's get that built. This also needs to be set for medical. But once that's made, I can just have the uh, medicine kept near the beds without having to build a specific cold room for it. And that is glorious. Right, okay, we're getting all the cleaning done. That is good. Hopefully we can get all of these people brought in as well. There we are. More people being buried. I'm glad that you are, you are uh, respecting the dead, even if they did attack us. They deserve a burial. Right, how much more can we get? I don't think we can get any more. Ah, so annoying. We have no more components, and that is going to be a really big problem for us. I may need to break some things down in order to get their components out of them. I should have prioritized that a little bit earlier. I didn't realize quite how bad off we were for components. At the on the plus side, we will be able to trade for them, I hope. But for the time being, that does mean a lot of stuff like automated doors not happening, unfortunately. We'll have to see how that goes. But uh, at least we got the switch set up down here, which is, you know, not too bad. We will have a light in there. Now, do the lights require components? No. Good. Very good. We'll have one light there, and we'll have some lights on the outside as well. There we go. Now, eventually, as I mentioned, these will actually be coloured lights, so they'll be red lights, and they'll uh, properly react to when this 
uh, Swift is pulled. This will go red and it'll actually look interesting like uh, like uh, battle station sort of thing. Gut worms has gotten sick with gut worms. The infection is in her stomach. Ensure you have a medical bed and a doctor. Make sure that Evelyn gets proper treatment and spends as much time in bed as possible. That isn't going to happen for now. Really? we got a poison ship? Where? Uh, fairly far outside our colony, but that is terrible. We're going to have to deal with that ASAP, I am afraid. And that's a little bit worrying, I'll be honest with you. Uh, okay, well, we're not going to be able to set up the crematorium or the electric smelter for now. But it does look like we've made our steel longsword, which does 17 damage every 2.5 seconds. Excellent. We've got the Plasteel Gladius, which does... Oops. We need to actually check that out. If we have a look here, we can see that this does 10 damage every 1.56 seconds. Rambo is using just a steel mace, so you actually get the steel sword. Enjoy, Rambo. Enjoy. But at that point, I think we're going to deconstruct the electric smithy and hopefully get a couple of components that we'll eventually be able to use to make the much-needed machining bench. We may have to do that by actually stripping back some of these. That'll be unfortunate, but it is what it is. Three components. Very nice. Very nice indeed. You know what? Let's hope that nothing down here needs that. I don't believe any of it does. Okay. We're going to keep that then for the eventual machining that we're going to be using it for. For the time being, we'll just set that back up as a stockpile position but that is going to be it from me for now i hope you've all enjoyed and will be joining me again for the next episode which should be tomorrow fingers crossed but until then do take care everyone